greetings. All respect. Praise King King Solassi. Babylon has to promote their cause. And in doing so, they use deception. These kind of forms of mind control. We have paid our labor to the Babylonian system. And it has taken our labor and utilized it for research and development to further enhance their power. If you have someone like the pedophile, certainly he is a Babylonian. He works for the Babylonian system. If you have institutions like the CIA, like the NSA, like the uh, media, these are Babylonian enterprises. They serve the Babylonian system. Their role is to get people to also serve the Babylonian system by worshiping the beast. The Babylonians have used the digital communication to determine where people's heart and minds lie. They have found that there is a growing discontent with the media industrial complex, which includes everything you pretty much see in here. Um, the idea is to get people to begin to support these institutions again. And how you do it is you use controlled opposition, sometimes referred to as manufactured dissent. And this is the pedophile's role. Um, he has spoken against Wall Street and at the same time began to <laughs> alleviate any burdens and produce a more comfortable environment for the network known as Wall Street. Um, he has spoken against international trade, aka globalization, and You know, time will tell. Yet, we saw the split of the European countries, uh, which typically do operate in a democratic fashion. As you have a king, the king is in the castle. The castle is surrounded by walls. It sits on a hill and it usually has some kind of a barricade around it, sometimes referred to as a moat. The kings have to feel protected. There's no uh, value in becoming rich if you're always afraid of your life. So the kings choose to set up democratic societies immediately encompassing them so that those people further act as barricades to stop any kind of invasion or threat. And so European nations typically function democratically and they decided to split. This was a threat to globalization. So there has to kind of be a counter a reaction to produce that support for globalization, which is what we've seen. If you have a figure that is a controlled opposition, he 
is repulsive. He acts repulsive. And he drives people to the causes that he speaks out against. Now, it's not everyone. You know, he needed the military and police because the records show that they are voters. Almost all of them vote. And so it's an easy grab if you just take the position of being in support of those, those groups. Yet, are you going to see more uh, people being hired for the military? I think not. Are you going to see more people being hired for police? I think not. And yet, because of automation in which he has spoken nothing of. The media is laughable. It, you know, where would he be without the media? So, these people are feeling their, their, their influence is slipping away. And they're thinking, you know, to get back the influence from this population, not that population, you know, not the pedophile wannabes, but the pedophile um, rejects, the ones that reject uh, the pedophile. You know, it drives those people back to those organizations because obviously if you're a smurf, and Gargamelda says something, and if Gargamel's your enemy, then you're gonna do what, what Gargamel doesn't say to do. You know, you're not gonna follow um, Gargamel. You know, then you have the homosexual thing. The, the pedophile says, who cares? Um, the vice pedophile, he has another position. But again, that's channeling people's energy to fight for a cause other than what they need to be fighting for. I, myself, am opposed to homosexuality, and yet um, I'm not like looking to burn any homosexual's house, beat any homosexual up. Um, if the homosexual chooses to live in sin, then the homosexual is living in sin. If the, homos if the thief, if the person wants chooses to steal, then the person chooses to steal. Am I going to go around looking for all the thieves? No, I mean, you know, we can only do so much. We have to define where the problem lies. With theft, it lies in class. It lies in uh, the fact that there's a, a, a subclass, a permanent subclass, that has to steal against each other to survive. Um, so we have to go define the problem, as if we have a plant that keeps growing back, a tree, then we have to get down and take it out by the roots. Part of the great buy-in is this immigration, and that's just building a demand to be in the United States. The message that's being sent is, this is the place to be. Everybody wants to come here, they can't get in. Simple enough. We heard on the radio yesterday, the billionaire, Warren Buffett, say that people that people born in the U.S. are lucky. So, again, um, giving the impression that it's, it's a shit, right? It's the shit. You know, the thing is, is that 
The Babylon man looking at all the communication. The Babylon man is seeing what people are thinking. And the Babylon man is seeing, doing an analysis. He's seeing where things are going pretty, his strengths, and he's seeing where things aren't going so great, his threats. And uh, he's looking for opportunities. He's looking to find the weaknesses, and he's looking to um, strengthen them. And with the digital communication, he, he knows where people stand, on what issues, he knows how to push people's buttons, get on people's nerves, and that's where the AI is coming in as well, because the AI is taking over that role, because before people discover what man has done, and I say man, there are actual names, people attached to these problems. Before pe people discover, the man is handing it off to the machine so that to take all accountability off of the man. And we are using our energy and paying Caesar so that this Antichrist is rising. The pedophile, you know, he, he got a big mouth. You know, big mouth strikes again. And yet, he never mentions any names. See? So then the message would be like, oh no, that, that, you can't mention names. You know, that's a liability. And again, it's the beast that's putting fear into people. And in return, out of fear, they're coming to serve and worship the beast. And yet, if the pedophile was so such a tough guy, um, no. then and he was you know, going to be so unpolitically correct, or whatever, politically incorrect, then that would be the, the most obvious, direct, and honest way to address the problem, is tell us who owns the media. What is their agenda if they're so, so much of the enemy of the people? Who owns them? What is their agenda? Or they just function free-floatingly? The people just get in there and they just take over the big ship, you know, and just sail it wherever the wind blows. Is there not an agenda? See, I know what the agenda is. He knows what the agenda is. Nobody's telling the people. Is there not an agenda to Wall Street globalization? What is the purpose? Where is it going? So, it is a distraction. And I probably may be wasting my time. But I have to put this out there. Because it is evident. And yet, as the pedophile may say, where is your source? Our source is Jot, the creator. He gives us... He te teaches us and tells us what we need to know. All praise, Rastafari.